hi all welcome again today we are going to see how to create a simple form in ms excel and use that form to insert the new data search a new data navigate a new data and all i mean excel is such a sheet wherein it may seem very lethargic kind of feeling could come when somebody asks to enter around uh, 100 records or 500 records or so but the same feeling will vanish when you will exactly use the form to enter the data so let us see how exactly you can do it so i'm opening up excel here in excel there is no pre-build form available here so what we are going to do is we are going to add that particular icon by which we can use it so to add icon just go to this start menu and go to excel options here in excel options you need to go to customize in customize click on commands not in the ribbon ribbon is this area which shows what are the commands available herein you can go down and find forms forms and just add them and here you can say that this addition is being done for only this particular workbook either you can do for all the workbooks or only for this particular workbook in our case I am only using for this particular workbook add so it is here now there are many other commands also which you may feel you want to add if you want to have some you know more spice in your excel uh, life there is something called zoom in and zoom out you can add zoom in and zoom out in case you require so i am not going to touch more say okay so the moment you will say okay you will see here the other addition it, it can come either here or it can come either here depending upon the choice which you have made now I'm going to insert a few heading serial number name let's say roll aggregate done so these are the four values which I basically want to work on so just select all those four columns which you want to work on and then convert it into a table for converting into a table you can simply go to insert and insert you and click on table so it will ask that okay so these are my headers so this I have already done so <laughs> it is saying this is column 1 column 2 column 3 and column 4 at times what you can do you can just cut and paste this value here so because when you use table they automatically add these value into it now once my table is made so I will just click you can add n number of values n number of headings over here and then you can start your uh, table formation so once you are done with this click on this icon you can see form icon the command couldn't be completed okay so what you need to do is you need to select the range first where is your uh, you know the, the, the values which will be they're in the form for which you want to take the data correct now I select this now see it automatically I'm in front of my data so here you can in insert the data whatever data you want that can be inserted like this I mean there's no check on to it so you can insert The moment you want to insert, say new. So it will be automatically inserted. Serial number three, name uh, Russian, roll number seven, aggregate 69. Russian is my friend, that is why I am giving him less number. Okay, so this is you can do a number of stuff over here. A girl is supposed to be more wiser, so that is that is I'm giving more marks to her. Huh. 
Now once you do it, there is always an option of find previous and find next and you can give criteria and you can find depending on the criteria. Even you can go to next and next record and the record will automatically display here. So it's not to go back and just do the changes here rather than do the changes here directly it will be reflected in the sheets. So this is for you how to create a form and how to insert data into it. See you in next article, next post.